Hello, everybody. Hi. Welcome back to Jenny LeClue. In the Welcome last episode, Le in, the, in the last episode, we had a heart to heart with our friend Keith, and came to the library, and we found things were a little too quiet. Things are very sus. Things are very sus. So now we turned off the power, and now we're just trying to figure out. I guess I turned the power back on because I need to move the ladder. Mm-hmm. Or not? No, no, you just go to the ladder. Oh. This might as well be a blind playthrough because I haven't really played this game in ages. Honestly, yeah. I just bought this for the Switch, so it's I'm on be able sale. To help. Yeah, it's on sale for one ninety nine. Use points, and I got it for twenty five cents. I don't know if it'll still be on sale by the time this video comes out, but it might be. You uh, should... maybe. You should definitely go up the ladder, probably. Oh, okay. There's a hole right there. I just saw it. There's a hole. Yeah, I've sure I haven't played hole. I haven't played this in ages, so this might as well be a blind playthrough because I don't remember a lot yeah. of it. I'll have a chance to play this and uh, do my own choices. Yes. Indeed. Rare books. Our most precious collections reside in this temperature-controlled room. Kindly donated by the Glatz Foundation. Yeah, yeah, we know. Everything's donated by the Glatz Foundation. The fallen oh. remains of a bookcase blocked Jenny's path. It looks like a bomb went off in here. It's too precarious to climb over. Really? This, this is where you cross this is where you draw the line, huh? Yep. You you played with with electricity. But you draw the line at climbing a book. Yes. Okay, so Even though you climb the book cart. Oh, you have to go down and around. I guess I uh, I think I, I hope I can go around the puddle. Yeah, you can go around the puddle. The tracks. Oh, the sign oh. clearly read wet floor caution. The path was blocked. You're kidding me, right? But I I can Trampling walk. muddy feet over a perfectly clean floor? She was a maverick, not a monster. I... I can't. Oh, wow. <laughs> that really is slippery. It wouldn't be a good idea to leave my footprints everywhere. God yeah, dictated. Yeah, how do you get up there? Hang on. I'm trying to see. I think I have to... I, I'd say I have to turn the power back on, but I can't seem to get back over there. Hmm. Which means that everything I need is over here. Uh... I wish you could fall down, but then again, you're 10 years old. It's locked. Oh, no problem. Oh. I'll just pick it. Jenny was skilled with a lockpick, having watched her mother demonstrate the process countless times. But that was just for fun at home. This was the real world. You couldn't just go around picking other people's locks. That was a crime. A great detective knows when to bend the rules. And the paperclip she has in her pocket. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey. Mom always says, lock picking is a subtle art. Move slowly and search for the sweet spot. This is a great thing. This is a fantastic thing to te teach your children. Oh. It's like operation. It is. have been a rush of blood that caused Jenny to act so irrationally. You're rating this! Regardless, she had picked the lock and felt strangely exhilarated. What treasures lay behind the door? I'm sorry, dude. Are, are, are you, like, not in control of your own hands or something? Oh, it's empty. I guess not. Still, that book car could be useful. I think this oh, man can... acts like he, he's the... He's a very, like... 
Oh, I'm so innocent to draw to make a child so perfect because I'm British. And meanwhile, this is she goes against her own narrative. Aha. Aha. Oh, that's not the button I wanted to press. Well, a bomb did it certainly went off. Something's Oh, you need to the turn ladder. the power back on now. Maybe. Something stuck in the track. Gas. Tiny. Ooh. <gasps> oh. S. Oh. It's the Dean's ring. No wonder the ladders were malfunctioning. The ring must have caused a short circuit. Here, yeah, but why is it here? I'll keep hold and... of this and return it to the Dean when I see him next. You're not gonna comment Whoa. on the? Yeah, there you go. Comment on that. Hmm. A fallen bookcase and now a broken balcony. This mystery has all the hallmarks of foul play. A strong impact. They say words can't hurt you. In this case, I'd be inclined to disagree. Jenny. Indeed. Shut up. Shut up, Jenny. Huge force. Solid iron and oak, torn apart like a piece of bread. It would have taken some mm. serious force to mm. do this. I want bread. Bread. Ripped in half. Something bad happened here. This is feeling more and more like a crime scene. And then Jenny saw it. Covered in a ripped curtain uh, and surrounded oh, okay. by broken glass. It is a crime scene. This is not a good thing, child. That's you not are ten years the old. reaction you should have. Child, you are ten years old. This is the point where you go and get an adult. <laughs> yeah, you go never and yes, there is. Your mom. You see a dead body. Oh, okay. It harrows the mind, terrifies the soul, scars you to your very core. I wouldn't know, sir. I've never seen a dead body, and I hope to a never see body? a dead body. Indeed. Do, uh, do pets no count? Way. This is amazing. No, it's not. Jenny. Jenny, you sociopath. Who had breathed? Their last breath, who had shuffled off this mortal coil to meet their maker? It could be anyone. I mean, One of two people. Lunatic from the asylum, or an axe-wielding maniac on the run from the cops. It could be. It could be. Mom? Oh no! Please no. No, you never forget the first time you see a dead body. Jenny knew it was wrong to disturb the crime scene. But I have to know who's under here. Slowly, she drew back the heavy cloth. I see cloth. three uh, gallery stickers. I do. Please don't be my mom. Please don't be my mom. Oh. Strasbury? Well, it's not your mom. Thank oh, God. Jesus Christ. I I'm sorry. I didn't mean it Damn. like that. Damn. Poor Mr. Strasbury. What happened to you? Um. That... That that neck. Dark magic, apparently. Yeah. Was this a apparently. Accident? Or worse. Murder. Yes. Her stomach churned. Or See, no, those are electrical scars. His contorted frame. Why would they be purple electrical? though? The urge to run. I don't know. To get as far away Silas from this horrific sight as possible. Maybe. I just. I Jenny had longed for an adventure. I guess we'll see. For huh? a real case to solve. I didn't expect it to be like this. She gathered herself. Are you aware that you're ten? And began you're aware that oh, you are five ten. I see uh, four stickers now. Gallery art. And then. Come on, really? Yeah, just give it to me. Nope. 
Itinerary. Yeah. Lay open on today's date. Perhaps I can retrace his steps and create a timeline of events. Meet JL. Could that be mom? Where's Widow's Drop? I've never heard of it. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Looks like he completed all his chores for the day. I already knew the Dean was meeting mom here. So where is she now? Looks like he canceled his meetings on Friday and rearranged lunch with Keith. Oh, poor Keith. Jenny didn't know how she would break the news to him. Maybe let the police do I that. Should be the one to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Should you? It's like police. wildfire in Arthurton. He sure was working hard on that speech. I'm sad he won't get to deliver it. Uh, I love, I love the retirement. Hooray! Hooray! This poor man. He didn't deserve yeah. this. Up. Oh, there's one. And I saw Art. another one right by the Dean's head as well. If you, yeah, up. It's there, smashed. There you go. Most likely from the fall. The hand stopped. But we got a time of death. There. That gives me a potential time of death. If Jenny had arrived just a few minutes earlier, I might have been able to save him. Well, you, you couldn't have. Or you, or him. you would die yourself. Or that, yeah. He's holding something. Mm hmm. It's a piece the of hand was clapped shut around a small object. That's strange. Rigor mortis usually takes hours to set in. I'm sorry for what I'm about to do, Mr. Strasbury. Why are you touching things? But this could be a Why are you touching a dead body? Without gloves. Uh. Ah. Oh, I don't like it. Oh. Mom's uh -oh. ID card? But that means... Julie LeClue had definitely been here. She could be the last person to have seen him alive. She could be. The killer? Impossible. My mother's a forensic expert. She'd never leave such incriminating evidence behind. But even the <laughs> smartest criminals made mistakes. I love this, like, my mom could kill a man, but she'd at least do it well! Uh -huh. <laughs> she'd at least do it right! She couldn't deny this She's also arguing with mom. the author! If anyone else sees this, they'll jump to conclusions. They'll think my mom's a murderer. Unless... A peculiar thought do crossed not. Jenny's no. mind. Do not! No, no, no. Unless... Do not! There's nothing to find. Removing evidence from a crime scene was highly unethical. So was planting evidence to frame an innocent person. She had no proof of that. I have to do something. Do you? What do we do? I don't know. The moral thing is to leave it. Are we going to be the moral here then? Oh, I don't know. Go. I don't know. How do we feel about our mom? I mean, she's our mom. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Jenny was worried about her being dead, but... I, think, I don't know. I think this is hard. we should probably do the moral thing and we not touch the, the goddamn dead body. My mom would kill me yeah. if she thought I tampered with evidence. Besides, she's innocent. The truth will come out. She might spend a night or two in jail, but it's fine. That's okay, fine. She's a holding cell. Don't worry about it. It's, it's a book about bad. predicting the future. Uh huh. I suppose it didn't. By Claire. By Claire wow. Voyant. Look at the name. I hate it. Really? Really? God. I I, I quit. I quit. I want to leave. <laughs> I need to name. I need to name a character that now. I want to name an oracle. Claire Voyant. I want to name a D and D character who is an oracle. Claire Voyant. You need to now. I need Absolutely to. Absolutely fucking need to. It is. Uh, it, go up by his hand. Hold go on. up by his hand again. I'm looking for evidence. Okay. A book about Taylor time. heads. Taylor, Taylor heads. What are the odds? These this is an names accident? are great. I love this. Only uh, an author would be able to come up with these names. The hawk and the, the hawk weasel. The hawk and the weasel and other bedtime stories. Someone write down the clairvoyant thing so I never forget it. Put it in D and D character creation. And again, it could have just joined Phoenix, the deep for the ride. Why is it always me? Because um, you're usually the DM. And <laughs> Mimi's oh, there's drawing. A sticker. There's a sticker over to the to the right. Oh, uh, there it is. Yeah, I'm drawing. I'm in the middle of arting. Maybe he's busy. He looks like he's been dead for weeks. His skin is pale and colorless. Uh, you, you know, as colorless as anyone can be, really. And there's a strange yeah. mark on his neck. Um, it it's kind of not only on his neck, Jenny. It, it kind of went up his face. 
There are bits of glass and metal debris everywhere. He has burn marks on his hand. So, what? Possible electrocution. She took one last look at the dean's lifeless body. And now we I'm leave sorry, and go get an I adult. I'll get to the bottom of this. Okay, that's smart at least. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Jenny knew she should leave and call the police. Yes. But how often did a case like this come along? Sir. Never. All the There's fucking police. The eye. There's th Don't enable her. It's of a lifetime. You're Some 10. Must be connected. You'll have a lot of cases. Child, you so were in fourth grade. Journal to join the dots. If she's even in school. <laughs> mm -hmm. What was the apparent cause of death? She might just be uh, in school. So burn marks, broken balcony, and the dean's ring. Seems possible. It looks like the dean was thrown from the balcony when he reached down to pick up his ring, which was stuck in the electrified ladder track. He grabbed the curtain, but it didn't slow him down. He landed on a bed of metal and glass debris. Oh, seems legit. I know, but oh, what a way to go. Yeah. What is unusual about the Dean's death? Uh, the neck and face. ID and, card. And I guess mom's ID card. The Dean has a strange mark on his neck. All the skin around his face is gray and gaunt. I've never seen anything like it before. He's holding my mom's ID card, which makes her the prime suspect. To be fair, he could have also just, like, instinctually grabbed onto her and accidentally ripped it off. Yeah. Why would she, or anyone, want to kill Dean Strousbury? I don't know. Why does anyone want to kill anybody? Indeed. That's it. Jenny suspected foul question. play. But what was the motive? Had she missed something? I mean, you can't know everything from the crime the scene. Watch. The watch! The, the Dean's watch stopped at 3.57 p.m. Yes. When I came into the library, the clock tower rang four times. Which means... The library only has one exit. And I haven't seen anyone but the Dean since I got here. Which means... Your mother's still the here. The killer is still here. The Dean was murdered. The killer must still be here. Not Stay anymore. Away. I guess if she called the police, he wouldn't have a video game. <laughs> exactly. This is one hell of a fucking game. It, it went from zero to ten. How are you doing that? Just Jenny, you're not light enough for this. I'm tiny and I'm not light enough for this. Yeah, but you're not ten. I look like I'm ten. I'm no, the size of a ten. Jenny no, could don't. hear police sirens in the distance. Someone must have tipped them off. I'll catch or... the murderer and keep him busy until the cops. You know, maybe that's why there wasn't there was no like library attendant. She must have heard the crash and gone to Chasing get someone. The murderers was hardly Probably. the job of a little girl. Hey, you! Stop! Bitch! Ow! Yeah. What made you think that was a good idea? Despite surviving her Jenny's fall, unconscious. so much as a broken bone. She probably has Jenny a concussion. But feel she had failed. As the sirens grew louder, she knew it would only be a matter of she time before really the tiny sheriff feet. arrived. They all do. And then she'd have to explain why she hadn't called for help. But the worst feeling of all was that she had let the killer escape. You're ten. Relax. As she drifted slowly into unconsciousness. Jenny heard a familiar voice. Concerned, gentle, soothing. Jenny? Mom? Oh, Jenny, what have you done? What have you done? Mom? What have you done? Freeze! You're under arrest! Gasp. Mom's in jail. Yes. And suddenly this turned into Phoenix Wright. Sir, what did you do? You spilled the wine. I killed him. That's so much jam. <laughs> this is all wrong. Why do you have so much jam? He's he's guilt eating. Murder? He writes what he knows. 
He's, he's guilt jamming. Uh, this is not an appropriate story for Jenny LeClue. What? <laughs> Poor Dean Strousberry. Dude, you're a writer. You could literally just, like, kill some random person. What was I thinking? Erase it and go back and I'll unkill him. Far. But then the publisher won't be happy. Well, yeah, but all they said was murder, Perhaps so he could I just take a break. Lots of lots of murder mysteries just have some random ass person in the town die. Not an important character. <laughs> There's also a small town. There's only so many people. Exactly. Come on, Rufus. Let's go for a walk. Just like say, oh no, the shopkeeper of this random shop was found murdered. Clear yeah, but you need attachment. Some of this jam. It's it's better. It's more gripping if there's attachment. Indeed. I mean, I guess. Flat dog. It's just funny how upset about it he is. Like, he doesn't have control. Well, then you're over. writing it. Remember, six jam jars. Oh my gosh. Sir, calm down. Brandy. Dog business. He's drinking. He's a writer. Of course oh. he's drinking. True. These trials very. Where did CJ go? Map 4 p.m. Backlot Dean fixes watch. Oh, there's something Stick underneath the uh, too dark. Too dark. Ring equals Ring important. equals important. On her head, genius. <laughs> C CSI class, Jenny dead, but not really. Well, it's me again, Arthur K. Finkelstein. And here we are, book 38 of the... Oh, he this is the same. I thought it might be different, but it's the same. Look at the name's cradle. One. Oh, yeah, okay, yes. Yeah, it's, it's just... Yeah, we did that already. Boop, boop. E. Is that all? What do we do here? I think we're just supposed to explore. Can I leave? Am I supposed to? Oh. Ah, I'm supposed oh. to cause mischief. When this turn into Bendy? Uh, uh, just right now. now. Just uh, just now. Just now. Just now. Oh, that's clever. I like that. Yeah. for mom why because she's my mom and i was left home alone I'm going to great papers when do i get to see her did you disturb the crime scene no no definitely no. not of course not now let me speak to my mom oh dear god <laughs> I'm a child. Yeah, this is this feels like little nightmares. A little bit. It really does. This changed to little nightmares. It's changed into a lot of things. Are you gonna have to run from a giant policeman? Mother. Mama. <laughs> Mummy. Oh, slow motion. And ripped apart. Yeah, this got serious. This got dark. <laughs> this got really fucking dark. I'm sorry, author. You were worried about it being dark before? Yeah, then the ink spilled on it and it got darker. I Jeez. wonder why. Please, look at me. Keith, wait! General. Wow. 
poor boy. No, he has no one. It was no accident. He's all alone. I can't believe she's here. It was revenge. She's guilty. You can see it in her eyes. Were they lovers? Pure evil murder. Oh, it's a coffin! Yep. It's oh. not a coffin. It's not a coffin. Yeah, the game makers know what they're doing. Jesus Christ! This is a long dream sequence. Oh, okay. What is. What the hell is that? I don't know, but I do not. Grab! Why do we. Oh, wait. Oh, are we pe they're we're photos. piecing it together. They're, they're, they're photos. They're pieces of a photo. Ugh! think that's her dad. Must be. That's her mom, and that's a picture of her. But I did not like the way the head just fully went around. Oh, they're holding hands. It would be sweet if it wasn't terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Oh, oh god. god. Okay! Oh god! This, yeah, okay. Oh, Ooh. I don't like it. Oh, and a set of legs! <gasps> what a horrible nightmare! Dean Strasbury was dead! My mom was in jail? Keith told me he never wanted to see me again. And worst of all, I was surrounded by an evil army of giant teddy bears. No, you're still surrounded by teddy bears. Pigs, actually. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was all true, including the teddy bears. My eyes! There's something wrong with them! Everything's pink! But her eyes were fine. It was the room that was pink. Pink cuddly toys. Pink furniture. Pink clothes. And a hand drawn homage to teenage heartthrob Pelvis Cressley. Covered <laughs> <laughs> in pink hearts. Everything a teenage girl could dream of. It looks like a marshmallow exploded. It was at this point Jenny remembered where she was. I shouldn't be here. What happened? And what is that terrible music? I can't think straight with that racket playing. I am losing my goddamn mind. These aren't my clothes. And where's my journal? That wasn't the only thing missing. The Dean's ring. It was in my pocket. You're the fan that I love. Ah, yes. The <laughs> Elvis Presley and the, the head thrusters! <laughs> Even though I'm a big star... No joke, fan, Elvis Presley was known as together. Elvis the Pelvis. So... This crap? Yeah, that doesn't... It's by yet. Selmore Records! Huh? Wow. Is that one? Hushed whispers in the hallway? Yeah. I should investigate. I thought someone was picking the lock. I thought so too, like, huh, somebody has my hair clip. That's a huge bed, though. I want it. Me too. It's locked from the outside. Who would trap a child in his nightmarish hellscape? <laughs> Jenny peeped through the tiny keyhole. As her eyes adjusted to the light, she recognized the substantial frame of Winston the Clue, Arthurton's long-standing sheriff, and Jenny's granddad. Winston the Clue. Uh, oh, for rules, distrust, Jenny's humor, relationship with her grandfather was contentious. To say okay, the same though. I have a weakness for little baby kittens. Oh, the fact that he was yelling at her though. He was a stern and humorless man who placed honor, tradition, and the law above all else. Sometimes even family. But what was he doing here? And who is he talking to? 
Florence Gratz, influential socially Florence generous philanthropist, the wealthiest suspiciously in white teeth. And hugely influential. <laughs> you, oh no, she whitens her teeth! Oldest in oh no. Britain. While Richard may have been the head of the business, everyone knew that Florence wore the pants. Good. Ah, I see. Generous, She's the she real one in charge. Good for face. her. Hell yeah. Which is why I don't trust her one bit. Being careful not to make a sound, Jenny leaned in and listened. With everything going on, I don't have time to watch her. It's no trouble at all, really, Winston. She can stay for as long as she likes. The girls are great friends. I only hope she feels better soon. That was quite the scene she made at the funeral. She should have left the boy alone. Really, Winston? This whole situation must be unbearably traumatic for the poor girl. Her mother in jail, and what she saw in the library. One shudders at the thought. She needs therapy. A lot of therapy. And all a lot of therapy. A year after what happened to Henry. She'll be fine. She will not. Just keep an eye on her. She can be a real handful. Oh, don't worry. That's an understatement. Everything. Pony rides, Hello. afternoon tea, and tomorrow Ew. we're going dress shopping. You know what? It's Actually, too girly, but I would love pony rides. I I like two of three of those things. Oh, yeah, that same. reminds me. I have some. I try it all. Dress shopping. First they lock me up. Now they want to torture me. I need to get out of here <laughs> fast. But her curiosity was piqued. She had to know what Mrs. Glatz had gone to fetch, and so she waited. When Thaladius T. Pumberbitten discovered the first quartz seam lining the Great Mountains, little did he know the impact it would have on the future of the town. Little did he know the Glatz family would muscle in and take over the whole operation. Nowadays it was hard to go anywhere in town without seeing something made from it. There was some on the floor. Nathaniel Glatz stared disapprovingly back at Jenny. Creepy old man. Oh, Miranda. Doggo segment. Let's stare at the door. <laughs> Actually, this was the man who saved Arthurton. When the quartz mines began to run dry, it was his research into the unique properties of the crystals that secured the future prosperity of the town and the company. Do you have huh? Doggo? I have Kitty. Where did he go? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he's gone. He's oh, gone. No. Dead! Winston, what are Sir! you doing down there? Hmm, thought I heard something. Really? A man of your age spying on teenage girls? I've told you already, ah! she won't be going anywhere. It was probably just Jenny's imagination, but those words felt oddly... Sinister. Indeed. Sir, don't peek in on a girl. Here. Why does Mrs. Glatz have official police documents? Satisfied. How is Julie? She's in the safest place, behind bars. Surely they don't believe she's guilty. I don't envy you, Winston. It must be hard to stay impartial. Hmm. If the poor dear would just confess, it would make things much easier. I have everything under control. Of course you do, dear. No one doubts your loyalty to Arthurton. We must continue to look out for each other, now more than ever. They're dating. They're fucking. They're fucking. Oh, they're fucking! Go ahead. It's the LeClue house, sir. We found something. I'll be right there. Over. It sounds like you've got important things to take care of. Yes. Well, good night, Florence. Good night, Winston. Don't let her out of your sight. She is a LeClue, after all. I'm sure we'll manage. So are you, bitch! Uh, that's how Indeed. he. That's how he knows. <laughs> he knows what he's like, and he knows what his Such daughter is asshole. like. Jenny couldn't believe what she just heard. Everyone thinks my mom's a murderer. Thankfully, her mother's fate was in safe hands. The fine people of the Arthurton Police Department. Oh God, she's gonna run <laughs> <to> jail. <laughs> Jenny could leave the case to them and enjoy a fun week of pony rides and shopping sprees. Do you even understand your own character? No, no. that's the joke. No. Mom always says a great detective leaves nothing to chance. I have to do something. But she was just a kid. What could she possibly do? This is my chance. The case of a lifetime. My mom needs me, and I won't let her down. I'm gonna find my stuff and get out of here. And just like that, a great adventure began. 
And now we start the real game. Yep, and with that, we're out of time for this episode. Cliffhanger! In the next episode, we'll find our stuff and get the hell out of this pink nightmare. <laughs> there is, There are things we need to figure out. There are many things yeah. we need to figure out. We'll see you guys next time. Next Bye. time!